Hey guys, what's up? Welcome to week 32. Oh my gosh. I am really going through it, guys. I don't know if it's just like me being emotional, but I look at myself and I feel like I am so fat. <laughs> like, I know like I'm gaining weight or whatever, but I just totally do not feel like I look attractive, I guess. And also, like, I feel extremely fat this week. Not, like, extremely fat. I just feel like my face is so chunky and I don't know what's going on. I mean, I know I'm pregnant. That's what's going on. But at the same time, I just feel so not myself. You know what I mean? And I know I have a month and 25 days to go. And I'm only going to get bigger. <laughs> So, I mean, I accept it, but I just, I'm not feeling myself right now. Anyways, I thought I would bring that up. Also, how I totally hate my hair right now. I don't know what I'm going to do when Bella gets here because I don't want to have to worry about my hair. So, I've been thinking, like, should I get it braided or should I do a sew-in or what should I do? My friend at work, she actually just got back from having her baby. And um, she's like, sewing really, really helped. Instead of having to, you know, wrap your hair and do all stuff, you can just you can add as much heat to a sewing as you want. So, I don't know. I might do that. I don't know what I'm going to do with my hair yet. I still don't know. And I did a video about this months ago, and I still don't know what I'm going to do to my hair. So, I know within the next couple of weeks what I'm going to do. If I'm going to just put a sewing in it and just wear it like that for a while or what. I don't know. Anyways, so, enough of that. Um, one thing that I noticed is, like, I am emotional, as you can see. But am I the only one who gets super emotional over those Pampers commercials? Why do they do that to me? Those Pampers commercials are so freaking adorable. They're so cute. They're so heartwarming and so touching. Like, I just totally love that video I mean that not that video but that commercial I think it is just so wonderful I love it and it makes me want to just buy Pampers Pam not Pampers commercials it makes me want to buy Pampers only like I am only going to buy Pampers and Huggies back in the day was the diaper of choice you know my little sisters were Huggies and that's the last thing I was going to get but now these Pampers commercials make me want to buy Pampers diapers anyways symptoms OMG, my hips and my pelvic area has gotten worse, seriously. Like I went to the grocery store yesterday and like I was walking and y'all ever feel like your hip goes out, it's like a sharp pain and you gotta stop because you will fall. I felt like I was gonna fall. And I was like, oh hell no, this is getting bad. And it hurt it so bad. Like after I had, you know, the groceries came in the house and all that kind of stuff, and I got in the bed, it was just, I was just in so much pain, like, it was not comfortable at all. When I say pain, I don't mean like, it's like a dull, aching, strong pain. So I had to lay down, I laid down for a while, and it went away, or whatever, I feel better. My mom was like, you need to make sure I'm taking, make sure that I'm taking my vitamin C and vitamin D, not vitamin C, vitamin D and calcium. And I had switched my prenatal vitamins because I wanted to make sure I was getting enough DHA or whatever for the baby. But those particular prenatal vitamins don't have enough calcium and vitamin D in it. So I don't know if that has to do with it or what. Because that's when I, 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 maybe it's in my mind. I don't know if that's why I'm thinking that I started experiencing the pain. But I started back on my other prenatals that have a lot of calcium, a lot of vitamin D. And hopefully that works. Um... Let's see. I can't wait for fall to get here. I was born on September 10th, so which is not necessarily the fall, but at the same time, it kind of falls within there. So I'm so excited about the fall. I cannot wait until the fall gets here. I love the fall. I love when, you know, you wake up in the morning and it's kind of a little cold and you can, it, you can smell like, uh, you can smell like somebody burning wood or whatever. Or their fireplaces on or even at night when it's a little cold you can smell the wood or the leaves and um hot apple cider and hay rides and 
all that wonderful stuff that reddish pink sky <laughs> i really 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 cannot wait for the fall where you know the wool um jackets and the um the boots and stuff like that that fall is fall is my is my favorite um season anyways enough of that daydreaming it'll be here before i know it and then bella will be here oh my god <laughs> Another thing is daycare is expensive as hell. I want to be proactive and look up as much information as possible before Bella gets here in my preparation, you know, before I move to Atlanta because the daycare at my job is free. But I called around and I was like, oh my God, like this one place, it was the bomb, y'all. Like, cause I really want to um, teach Bella sign languages and different things like that, you know, to help her be able to tell me what it is that she wants. But um, the daycare teaches them all kind of language skills and different things as babies and it just seemed amazing and it was just wonderful the tour that was online was good enough for me and then I called them these these people talk about some uh, 299 295 that's $300 a week they wanted $300 a week I was like it don't look that good no more another place kinder care was talking about 220 and then this one place, the cheapest I found was like 170, and that place was was nice, um, 170 and 177. So we're gonna do a tour of that place in a couple, in a few months or whatever. Um, but yeah, wow, I did not know daycare was that expensive. I don't really trust a lot of people with my baby. My aunt, I trust. She lives down there, so I might see if maybe she would want to do it. But she stays really far, so I don't know if that's gonna work. But anyways, yeah. I don't know how people do it with like three or four kids in daycare. That is just so expensive. Um, I also had a dream about labor. Yeah. It wasn't like I didn't have the dream about me actually pushing Bella out or anything like that. It was just I was in labor and all of a sudden, like when I say in labor, I don't mean like laying on the bed. But Nate's whole family, his dad, everybody was there trying to take pictures you know like the pictures where you like this and like this like that was my dream and I was sitting there leaning over like oh I'm really in labor and they were all like trying to be like all in my picture and I was so like come on but at the same time I felt so euphoric like I felt like the gates of heaven were just like angels and you know unicorns and all kind of stuff it was a weird dream okay now um let's see Oh yeah, I'm in my eighth month. I'm looking down at my notes. <laughs> I'm in my eighth month. Yay. We have one more month to go, ladies. One more month to go. So I'm 32 weeks. The March of Dimes and all these other places say the baby should at least stay in there for 39 weeks. But I guess the baby is full term at 37. So she can come between the next five weeks or eight weeks. Oh my God. Um... Other than my dream about, um, other than my dream about me going to labor, I have been having weird dreams. Like, I don't know if you remember, um, a few months ago when I would just have crazy dreams and now they're starting to come back. It's like crazy dreams. Like, I mean, just weird dreams. <laughs> so, anyways, like I had a dream about these, like, a, like scorpions and spiders. Like, I had a dream that I was eating this, um... And I don't know, maybe my TV was on or something. I'll, I sleep with my TV on, so I'm going to blame it on that this time. But I was eating this, like, deep fried, like, it looked like a, um, God, what is it called? Hush puppy. But when I bit into it, it was kind of like goo in the inside, and it was a scorpion. But the scorpion didn't have a shell. It kind of crawled out of it. Like, that's a weird, nasty dream. And I was like, oh, my God. Like, I, I bit into a scorpion, and it was still alive. And it ran off. And then I dream about this big black spider that which like formed into like a like a shell or something like that. I was dreaming about things like that. Weird, huh? Um anyways, then dreams about people that I would never ever 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 be with. Anyways, um then I have this acid reflex crap that's going on and it is not cool like it really makes it hard to eat anything because anything I eat it makes it feel real acidy like right there also ladies I don't know if you've done this or not but I have filled out my FMLA forms 
um, which is the family to leave at just because I know as time gets closer and if my pain felt anything like it did you know on Saturday when I was at the grocery store if it feels like that I know I'm not gonna be able to make it to work so I did get those forms filled out so that way if I need to call off it's not gonna count against me or anything like that negatively so I did that to protect myself so I suggest that you guys do it too if you haven't done so already um, 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 oh, how can I forget? I want to say a big, huge thank you to all the ladies who have um, answered my last questions about breastfeeding and um, placing the baby on her back. You guys have no idea how much stress you've relieved from my mind. You know, during pregnancy, you know, I, you could be maybe a little over emotional, but I was just really worried and genuinely concerned about the baby sleeping on her back and the breastfeeding schedule and basically what I've learned is that it's not like I can sit here and say okay Jazz you're going to feed her at this time this time this time she's not even here yet I have to basically let the baby tell let her tell me when she's ready to eat and let her put me on the schedule let her tell her mama when she's ready to eat and um and then the pumping and all that kind of stuff will come into play when I go back to work so um yeah let me see. Is that it? I think so. I think that's all. But yeah, thank you guys so much for responding. Everybody for responding to me with that. That really, really, really eased my mind. It made me feel really comfortable with being able to come to you guys and ask questions. Um, I think that's about it. I don't think I have anything else to go over. So I am going to do my belly shots. All right. Here we go. All right, ladies and gents, here is my 32 week belly. Here we go. Everybody says at work it looks like I just got bigger overnight. I don't know, you'll tell me. So this is from the front. I have my Lena Negra line. Mine does not come all the way up. It just comes right here, then it kind of stops right here. So this is from the front, this is from the side. And this side. And Bella moves a whole lot, guys. Like when she moves, it's like I can feel her, all of her body parts, her feet, her legs, her knees, her fingers, everything. I can feel her like on this side. Like she'll actually stretch her body and chill like right here. Or she'll stretch and chill right here. And then when we go to sleep at night, she's like, I don't know, she's right here. And she's like in a little ball. Like she's sleeping on her side with her mommy. So this is my belly, guys. Woo-hoo-hoo. All right. So next week, actually, I don't care. I'm leaving it up. Whew. This shirt's too tight anyway. Next week, I'm going to go into details about my baby shower um, i'm supposed to actually go this weekend to go pick up my decorations and all that kind of stuff and my cake um talk about that next week because my baby shower will be in the next couple weeks my baby shower is going to be on august the 27th also i will have my maternity photos for you guys probably this week so you guys can see that and also my invitations I'll probably have sometime this week so you guys can see that because daddy is making them. He is so talented guys. I cannot wait for you guys to see his amazing work. Um, my boyfriend is very, very talented at graphic design. Um, anyways, so that is about it and I will see you guys next week.